Libra, you need to know this right now for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Libra for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Libra. So, Libra, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Libra, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Libra. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid annoy here. So Libra, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now Libra, listen, you don't trust this? You don't trust this ace of pentacle practicality or commitment that's coming into you? Or is you wanting to be persistent to offer this? Hmm. Libra, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after an ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Libra. Clarify death for Libra. Clarify death for Libra. It is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. Clarify the King of Cups for Libra. Clarify the King of Cups. For Libra, it is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Libra, it is clarified with the Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So listen, Libra, you know, this could all be work or business dealing with your financial stability here. You know, you can tell me that you ain't playing no kind of games, that you're thinking about ending it. And you're standing by what you're saying because you feel like they're shortchanging you here. It's coming in, but they're shortchanging you. Libra, you could also tell me that, you know, you're trying to master your emotions because someone is wanting to transform things with you. No longer are we dating. Now we're engaged. No longer engaged. Now we're married because they could be giving you something here. Bling, bling, shiny things speaking on commitment. But you're hesitant. Libra, you have the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational, it's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Libra, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Libra. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Libra could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant. For Libra, clarify the Hierophant. For Libra, clarify the Hierophant. For Libra, it is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Libra, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Now, Libra, you could be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, work or business here. And there's a confrontation over these coins. Like I said, they could be giving, but they're shortchanging. Something is off, okay? Libra, this could also be about commitment here, okay? 
You're asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship or invest further in the relationship. And maybe you still have some unanswered questions like, you know, I don't know what the questions are, you know. Okay, or someone is needing to set the record straight so that you can come to an informed decision here. Or you're just wanting to wait and they're confronting you about it because you're hesitant to accept whatever this is. You have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Libra, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the four of pentacles for Libra. Clarify the four of pentacles for Libra. It is clarified with the knight of swords again over here. Some type of confrontation taking place here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the knight of swords. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Swords. For Libra, clarify the Knight of Swords. For Libra, it is clarified with the King of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Libra. Clarify the King of Wands for Libra. Clarify the King of Wands for Libra. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys as relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Libra, listen, could be dealing with a Capricorn. But when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Libra. Clarify the devil for Libra. Clarify the devil for Libra. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your luck and fortune. Where this wheel can spin and you can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for you. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that everything between you guys has changed. You can tell me it's an actual change in your luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Libra. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Libra. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Libra. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. And when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Libra could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance. For Libra, clarified temperance. 
for Libra. Clarified temperance for Libra. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you guys had some immature, premature communication, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords. For Libra, clarify the page of swords. For Libra, clarify the page of swords. For Libra, it is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So Libra, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Libra, I feel like you had a chance to look into something here. Very well could be dealing with a legal binding contract. You can feel like there's a lack of compromise and negotiations because there's been a change in your actual luck and fortune. And you're confronting this person. You're having to hold on to your coins, a penny pinch. Something is going on with your coins here. Like I said, this could be work or business. And you're finding out you're being shortchanged, cheated, not being paid as much as the, ne the next person that is doing the same job as you or something something i don't know you're putting in these hours you're not getting paid or something okay your feelings are hurt about this however libra this could also be that you're finding out that this situation is toxic this relationship is toxic here this person is trying to set the record straight but i feel like you went looking and you discovered that there may have been a third party here and this is the reason why, you know, you're hesitant. There is a timing factor. This is the reason why you're hesitant here. This is the reason why you want to think about it. Because they're coming in with some type of offer. They're giving you something, possibly an offer for commitment here to go into some type of legal binding contract. And they want to know why you're not jumping on it as the king of wands. But you don't feel like you should jump on it. You feel like you should hold back. You feel like you've done your research or maybe you need to do more, but you feel like there's a third party here and this is the reason why you're hesitant here. Libra, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. Could be dealing with a Gemini. You can tell me that you guys have a strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers. For Libra. Clarify the lovers. For Libra. Clarify the lovers. For Libra. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Libra, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Libra, when it comes to some type of partnership with work or business, you were expecting something, expecting more. When it comes to a partnership with work or business, you can tell me you're ready to look to see what else is out there. Libra, you can tell me that the reason for the hesitation to accept this that is being given to you, possibly an offer of commitment here to transform things, the reason why you're hesitating, it's a time effect and you're trying to be patient. You want to think about this long and hard. You're waiting here. You're waiting because you suspect that there's another other lover, a third party here. Ay, 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 ay. I'm going to take a look at the situationship for you, Libra. 
this is just additional messages here you guys subscribe to my new channel omega 333 tarot that's omega 333 tarot thank you libra karmic third party relationship lesson karmic third party relationship lesson what else for libra what else for libra and it says intervention rescue others involved intervention rescue others involved If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Libra, you need to know this right now for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.